In Old English, they thought that noodles were meat. Yeah, in Old English, the concept of meat just meant food in general. The word meat wasn't so much about animal versus vegetable material, but about solid food versus drink. So a salad would technically be meat. This is an example of semantic narrowing, where a word gets more specific over time, like how the word deer used to just refer to an animal in general. That's a deer, deer, baby deer, they're all deer. Now, there are a lot of reasons for why this narrowing happens. One is just primacy. If a deer is the most important animal to a particular civilization, the word ends up getting used for this specific creature at a much higher frequency. But usually there's a lot of complex cultural factors at play, like how the word hound used to refer to dogs in general, but now we use it to refer to specifically a hunting dog, and people would probably look at you pretty funny if you called this wiener dog a hound, even though the word is literally in its name.